you're not streaming? What's the deal here? Why is this not showing up? Let's refresh Twitch and see if maybe that's the issue. Yeah, okay, so we are streaming. It just wasn't showing video. Okay, so, uh, hey there, gamer guys and gals. Today we're playing Skate Master Chekyo. And I love these Chekyo games. He's a really cool character. I'm going to uh, play it a little bit, show you some levels, give you a final score review at the end, and I'll even uh, help you with achievements on this one. So let me pull up the achievements real quick. So there is 11 achievements for 1,000 points. Triple the fun, you need to defeat three enemies in a combo. I'll show you where you can do that. Money bags is to collect 50,000. Living on edge is choose not to save your game when prompted. Wild in the streets, finish the level concrete jungle. Fighter, defeat any enemy in the game. That's a boss. Money bags, collect 25,000. A friend in need, collect all friend name letters in a level. Ollie attack, jump on an enemy. Safety first, collect a health pack. Air dash an enemy, I'll show you how to do that. And Skate Master, the, for 120 points, is for uh, just completing two levels. It's a pretty tough game though, It's it really is like the retro games. But I'm gonna start a new game. And the best thing that I think to do when you're doing the achievements is just to start on Concrete Jungle. Because you can get most of your achievements here. Here's the money. You need to collect 25,000 and 50,000. You're not going to get 50,000 on the first level. The best level to get 50,000 is on the uh, Christmas level. You can do it real quick there. That right there would have got you the achievement for jump for jumping on an enemy. Right there like that. And then there's a, uh, a dash. which it, these If you collect all these letters, you'll get an achievement. It's the name of one of your friends. Here's what a dash looks like. You just need to do that to an enemy to get that. This is an enemy. There's a health pack. You got an achievement there, but I've already got it. Here's the jump attack dash. That would have got you an achievement there. You dash those. You could have got the three enemies there probably, but there's an easier place to do it. I think it's the mall level. I think I had the easiest time doing it. There is moments like that where the game's kind of glitchy. We're thinking there's another letter where the game's kind of glitchy. But uh, it's a good game. I had a lot of fun with it. It really it reminds me of like uh, TNC Surf and uh, let me think of something else. There was something else I was thinking of that it reminded me of. But it's really got that old school NES feel. Alright, there's three letters. There's a lot of jumps on here. It gets even harder. This is one of the easier levels. That's why I said to start, start on this one. Alright, we're going to get some rockets coming now. Need to get a second wave. The hardest part of the game is these jumps. There's a lot of difficult ones. These on this level are kind of easy. That's why I started on here. Alright, let's get another. Aw, oh, crap, I fell. Fell again. Good for... Good though that this boss is kind of easy, so... Alright. So we're on a roll. We've got almost full hearts. Coming close to the end of this level. We have 15,000. Let's get this. Alright, that would have spelled his name and that would have got us the uh, achievement for that. Well, I wouldn't have got 25,000 on this level, but on that snow level, I mean, uh, Christmas level, you can get it, uh, twice. Hey, I didn't know your friend was up there at the end, top. But all you do on this one is just jump over the things he throws, and then hit his head when he comes. Fairly easy. 
she's throwing grenades at him. I'd never... Oh, she hit him too. I did not know that she lended you help. That's pretty cool. So if you collect her name, she helps you on the final boss. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. This is the first time I noticed that. One more hit and we got him. Fairly simple. And there he is. You got the achievement there for beating your first boss and defeating this level. And she gives an extra 10. So that would have... Right here it asks you to save your game. If you hit no way, uh, you'll get an achievement here. I've already got it, so you're not going to see it, but I would have got an achievement there. The mall. The, the mall is the next level you should play. It's probably the second easiest. You'll get $50,000 easy here. Some challenging jumps, though. But yeah, like I said, this is a really fun retro game. Really takes me back. Uh, this is one where you have to, to do some timing. Sometimes you just have to use that dash. There's another letter. It's spelled a different name this time. All right, the missiles fall from the sky this time. Knew they were coming, still got hit. That's bad. All right, these guys come from the door. You gotta hurry up and hit kill them or they'll block your path. I missed the gift that I should have got. We got four letters to whoever's name this is. Alright, that one's a little bit on timing. Alright, let's get another health. And getting pretty close to 50,000. Now the bombs are going to come from the bottom. Make sure you jump that or you'll get stuck and die. Alright, we need two more letters and we'll have some help with the boss again. Oh, this is one of them things. Crap, I'm going to lose health here because I didn't. I didn't jump it. Alright, there's 50,000. You would have had another achievement. So you can get all the, you can get, oh, we need one more letter. You can get all the achievements on this one in probably, I would say, 30 minutes easy. Except it's going to give you some challenges. It's, it's not an easy game at all. Oh, my God, sometimes it'll do that where he'll, oh, no. All right, we got it, D-wheel. All right, we need this health. Make sure you get over that jump. All right, here's the boss time. We're gonna have a help from our friend this time. Oh, look at him. Well, what you do on her is just dodge her projectiles, hit her with the dash. Let her go over top of you. Just make sure you dodge her stuff. It's the easiest way. And then when she does that, get out of the way. I'm not sure what he's doing, how he's hitting her, but we'll pretend he is. Two more hits. Fairly easy boss. Oh, he did hit her, so he finished her off. That would give you the achievement for beating two levels. And uh, more than likely, that would have been all your achievements. You would have been done. 
Because you got 80,000 there. So we're going to save our game this time, definitely. Because I would like to beat this game. I haven't beat it yet. Alright, so let's go do the Christmas level. Santa's arrival. It's probably the next easiest. It's got some hard jumps, though. Here's the place to get uh, three hits. I messed it up, though. Right there, you would have got your three hit combo easily. That you gotta flip the switch. You're gonna get some pretty challenging jumps on this one. You gotta watch out for that stupid reindeer. Some of these you gotta be patient on, not to, uh... Right here is where you gotta got your three. If I wouldn't have hit that guy, I could have just did my jump like that and got a triple, but we didn't do that. But now you know how to do it. I'm not doing very well. I don't know why I took damage there. I guess you can, maybe you can't hit those guys. I thought you could, but... So sometimes it'll make you do the spin when you don't want to. I find that I do that a lot on this level. I'm just trying to jump and it'll do the dash. And it'll cost me. Alright, so we failed on that level, so let me show you another level. And if you die, you can just hit, uh... Load game, so it's good to make sure you save your game. You want to definitely make sure you save. Maybe we should try this level. I don't think I've tried this one yet. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay, so that's whole. I am doing very bad at this one. Alright, so this is just a little world. But you gotta make sure you get these jumps. This one's tough. Yeah, they get tougher and tougher as you go. And I, I like that. I like challenging games. Sometimes, when you don't want to dash, it'll dash. When you want it to dash, it won't. I don't know. It's kind of weird with that. Sometimes you have to sit and wait for that screen to make sure that you, where you're jumping's where you want to go. But yeah, it's definitely, it's going to give you a challenge. It's like old school retro games in that, in that, uh, in that case where it's going to make you work. You're going to have to learn the levels, and it, but that's good because it gives me an opportunity to show you other levels. I don't want to make the video too long where I'm showing you everything. I don't want to show every boss and I don't want to show the final, but I would like to show you a few different levels so you can see. Actually, I didn't even know this was here, so that's cool. I wouldn't have picked this one because I didn't even know it was here. Look at that. I like this is cool. It's got a little bit of uh, Contra like traps on it. Ah, uh, I didn't. See, if you ever jump that too quick, there's no way to get around that. You have to wait for it to load in. You get this heart.
Ah, nice. Pretty good moves right there. Look at that, a dead fish. Fighting dead fish now. Ah. About to die. Oh, that's a big save right there. Getting too big in a hurry and get too far ahead in the screen. Start hitting things you can't dodge. I kind of hate. Alright, so. Alright, let's load up and show you another level. I'd like to show a little bit of all these opening levels. So this is the toughest level. It's, it's, well, that's what it said. Uh, it had, I think it, that's what the stars are for. Which ones are the toughest? Yeah, it's definitely the toughest. Probably the, probably the biggest way to make money though level, I would think. Okay, we're going to have a lot of jumps. Yeah, there's money bags all over the place. Oh, they dis Yeah, this one's definitely gonna be the toughest. This conveyor belt actually makes you, uh... Look at this. Th look how tough this is. There's like invisible platforms. Uh, I was on it and rolled off. I suck it, you can't dash into him. So that's definitely the toughest level. And it slowed it. I think there was one more that I hadn't showed you. It's the carnival. Sonica Land, and it's supposedly the probably the third hardest level. That they had only had two stars. So. Let's see, if we can beat this one. Let's try to beat this one. I'd like to have the video at least be about 25 minutes. I don't know if you can actually buy anything or not. Oh, there's also a push up and jumping down and B. It's like a ground smash. I don't know what this guy does, but we're going to save him anyway. I've saved him every time. I, don't, I haven't really noticed that it did anything, but... Health is running a little low. Ah, uh, can't believe I rolled off there like that. Missed that health, could have used it. I think we missed a letter though. Look at these jumps. Ah, uh, to see that, I guess what I was talking about right there. 
you'll you'll start doing jump you'll start doing the dash when you don't want to do the dash and it'll get you killed I don't know like that's that's the next level that I definitely want to beat but we're gonna end the video here I'm gonna keep on streaming but I just want to uh, end the video here so when I edit it, I'll know that I'm in and in here. Thanks for the support, guys. Thanks for watching. Grab this game. It's definitely worth it. It's a ton of fun, especially if you love retro games. It's really it's really worth your time. It's really fun. It's one that you're going to struggle with, but you're going to enjoy struggling with it. And uh, definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about it if you grab it. Hopefully you have as much fun as I am. And until then, catch you guys later. And thanks for watching. For the people in the stream, continue watching. I'm staying here. I just wanted to uh, make sure that I knew where to end my video whenever I went to edit this. So let's try this uh, Santa's arrival again. Maybe we can get this one. Hey, I got a Santa outfit on. I never noticed that before. Pretty cool. Would love to beat this level. Now we're doing very, very well right now. That dash, though, man. I wish I, I wish they would have made the dash a different button. He was trying to get the triple right there was a four so you definitely would have got got the achievement there Doing really good. Oh, this is where they always start to have problems. Start doing that double jump. Start doing that thing when I don't want to do it. I missed the. Why did I fall through that? See that? Like sometimes I feel like there's some glitches on this game. Uh, and I got. Oh my god, why? It starts doing that stupid dash when you're not hitting the button. I don't. I wish they would have made that a different button. Let's try this level again. I really like this one. Really love the music too. Everything about this game is just quality. I forgot to give a review and everything. Uh, I'll go ahead and do it now and then I can just edit it in then as well. I, uh, I'm gonna give this game an 8.4. I, I think I think it's really quality uh, modern retro. I think they do a really good job at emulating a lot of classic games. I love how it looks. I love how it sounds. I love the music. There's so many good things about this game that I really enjoyed. So I'm giving it an 8.4. I, I I really think it's definitely worth your time if you like old uh, NES games.
I've been playing it like crazy. Like I know I'm, this is the first time I'm streaming it, but I've been playing the hell out of this game, and I and I can't get that far either. That's what's kind of crazy. It's hard, but I enjoy. I enjoy even when I don't do well. Ask me again though, whenever. Uh, whenever I start failing at these levels over and over though. I already beat that level. Why am I trying to do that level again? Let's try Santa's Arrival again. It seems like the one that I seem to be getting the closest to finishing. Yeah, it's definitely a tough game. I'm not going to say there's is not issues. Sometimes the controls can be a little bit tough. But that's usually something that you expect from games like this. Usually these tough games are kind of tough to get off the hang of, period. And I, I just love these Checo games. I'm trying to think what the other one was that I just played recently was called. But I was hooked. I played it like crazy. I actually beat it. It was a ton of fun. And that would have been a triple. I think when I die here, I'm going to end the video, actually. That way I can have a complete 30 minutes of uh, content. You can get a hang of, get a feel for what the game's like. But like I said, 8.4, definitely worth the price, definitely fun if you like these old retro games. If you don't, if you don't like tough games, it might not be for you. But uh, most people that grew up on the NES and them classic consoles like a little challenge. They like these tough games. And this is definitely one of those type games. And I am struggling. Seems like I always get to the same spot and start doing bad. And start having issues with controls. Don't need money, I need health. Well, we failed there, so we're going to end the video. This is Skate Master Chico. Definitely grab it. Definitely let me know what you thought about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Man, I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. I'm going to be... I'm, I'm stopping streaming, but I am definitely getting off here, and I'm going to play it without having to sit here and talk to people. So, uh, definitely thanks for watching. Definitely let me know what's up. Let me know what you thought about it. Please leave some comments, you know, because... The more we hear from you guys, the more uh, we want to do this. The more ge the more games uh, we get to review, the more developers and publishers see them, and they realize that people are watching our videos and uh, they want to give us more, so, so we can do more uh, of these. So, and I'm just going on and on. I don't want to get off here, but thanks. <laughs> it's fun. It's just so much fun talking to you guys and. This game's so much fun. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Once again, it's Skate Master Checo. And it's an 8.4 quality, quality modern retro game.